Hello everyone, you yeah, are welcome to this class. So in this class, we want to look at questions on uh, inequalities, how to solve inequalities uh, questions. So the first question we have here uh, says, solve the inequality 3 into bracket P minus 5, uh, close the brackets, less than equals to 4 into bracket 2P plus four, right? So uh, as I've told you earlier on in a lecture video that the same way we solve ordinary equations, the same way we're going to solve uh, inequality. So let's open the bracket first here. So we use three that we have outside the bracket to multiply all the terms we have inside the bracket. So that means three multiplied by P, that's going to give us three P minus 3 times 5, that's going to be minus 15, less than equals to 4 times 2p, that's going to be 8p uh, plus 16. All right. So the next thing is to collect like terms. So p will come in, uh, minus 15 will go there. So therefore, we're going to have 3p, then 8p, it is plus here, because it's crossing the inequality symbol, you say to minus what? 8p. Less than equals to 16. You know, we have removed this. To this place so what we have left is 16 that should be the first thing you put there then this is minus 15 is coming here to go to do what plus what 15. i hope this is very clear all right so the next thing is for us to 3p minus 8p and that's going to give us 5p so this one means plus 3p you have 3p and you are going 8 if you paste 3 out of the 8 you are owing you still be owing 5. that's why we have minus 5p there so less than equals to so 16 plus 15 that gives us 31 all right so from here now so the next stage is to divide both sides by minus 5 now don't forget anytime you divide the inequality by the both sides of an inequality by a negative number or you multiply by a negative number the symbol will have to be reversed so in that case you can to have minus 5p divided by minus 5 so this will then change to greater than or equals to 31 divided by what? Minus 5. So minus cancel, minus 5, cancel 5. So P will then be equal, greater than or equals to, so minus uh, 6, or number 1 all over 5. How do I get that? 5 in 31 is 6. Remember 1, which is 30. 30. 31 minus 30 give us 1 all over 5. So the answer is uh, option P greater than equals to minus six one that's option b that's option b there all that is very clear so we'll go to question number two now for question number two for question number two so we have of uh, find the question i ask you to find the least possible integer the least that is the minimum possible integer that satisfies the inequality so what we're going to do first is to solve the inequality and we then interpret the question 5x five, five minus 9 less than equals to 8x okay 8x all right so the next stage here is to uh, collect like things uh, that's going to be 5x minus 8x it is plus 8 for minus so less than equals to minus 9 here the comma plus 9 here all right so 5x minus 8x gives us minus 3x less than equals to 9 so the next thing to do we're looking for x so divide both sides by minus 3 so the same thing will happen here minus 3x divided by minus 3 so this will change to greater than or equals to 9. I hope I'm making sense. So that means minus cancel minus 3, cancel 3. Then x divided by minus is, sorry, greater than or equals to. The answer will then be what? Minus 3. But that is not where we're going. So if we want to interpret this, x greater than and equal also equals to minus 3. So that means the value of x is equals to minus 3 and also greater than minus 3. So what are the numbers that are greater than minus 3? That's minus 2, minus 1, 
are 0, 1, and so on and so forth. But the question answers find the least. So among all these numbers that we have listed, which one is the minimum? So the minimum number we have here is what? X equals what? Minus 3. That is the minimum. So the answer equals what? A. I hope this is very clear. Okay. So move to question number 3 now. Question number 3. Question number 3. All right. So this one asks us to find the range of values of x, which satisfy this. So the range of values of x, so that means 7, uh, less than minus 4x, right, minus 5. So what are the, if both of us solve it, so this one will become more plus 4x here, less than minus 5, minus 7. So you see that the symbol did not change because we are not dividing both sides by negative number we are only moving so we are only when you are when you move from one side to the other symbol will not change but when you divide or multiply uh both sides by a negative number that's when the word the symbol will change but if you, if you divide or multiply by positive number the symbol will not change hope that is very clear take note it's very important so in that case move to so this is going to be about 4x less than minus 12. So we divide both sides by 4, by what? By 4. You can see now that I'm dividing by a positive number. So nothing will change. In that case, x will then be less than minus 3. So what are the range of values of x? So the range of, so then, which means that x is less than, so what are the numbers that are less than minus 3? So that's all going to list out. That's going to be minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, so and so forth. So all these ones <coughs> are less than 3. Is that clear? So that is option C, as you have it there. So you might be wondering why we minus 4 less than minus 3. It's going to be less than this. So if you take it to real life, minus 3 is uh, someone that is going 3 nearer is better off than the person that's playing for never. So therefore, <coughs> excuse me, minus four, minus five, minus six are numbers that less than minus three. Exactly. So let's go to question number four now. Question number four. Question number four. Uh, the question asks to find the greatest integer that satisfies the inequality. So find the greatest integer that satisfied in quality question number four. Question number four. So find the greatest integer that satisfied the inequality. Two uh, into brackets, x minus one, less than six. So the first thing, let's solve it first. This is going to be about two x. So we use two to multiply everything out in the brackets. So minus two, less than six. So that means you collect like terms. So that would be 2x less than 6 plus 2. That is 2x less than what? 8. Right. So the next is to divide both sides by 2. Therefore, x is less than what? 4. But the question asks us, find the greatest integer. So the, that is, we are looking for the largest one. So what are the values of x now? So let's list that. So x, so we are saying x is less than 4. Less than 4. That is all the numbers that are less than 4. We have 3, we have 2, we have 1, we have 0, we have minus 1, and so on and so forth. But the question we are looking at, which one is the greatest? Which one is the greatest? Which one is the largest? Which one is the maximum? So therefore, it is what? 3. So x equals what? 3. That is option. Just how this is very clear. It's so simple, right? Good. So let's go to question number five. Question number five says, if x is positive integer and 8 plus 2x less than 17, find all the possible va possible positive value of y. Oh, sorry, of x. That's supposed to be x. Find all the possible positive value of x. So what we're going to do, we solve it first. So that is 8 
uh, plus 2x less than 17. Let's call it like terms. That is 2x less than 17 minus 8. That's going to be 2x less than uh, 9. All right. So we divide this out by 2. So x is less than 4 and a half. So, but what we're looking for is if the positive integer, uh, if x is a positive integer, find all the possible positive values. So, what are the possible positive values of x now? So, x is less than four and a half. So, integer means whole number. So, the the, the first whole number that is less than four and a half is four, right? Is four. Then followed by three, followed by two, followed by one, right? Followed by one. So, what are the list out the possible positive positive these are the positive values of uh, integers that we have so that is four three two one that is which is called to one two three four we have there one two three four that is option b how this is very clear so and that is the end of this video that is how we solve everything i hope you find this video useful and helpful so if you do please don't forget to give us a very big thumb up and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that anytime i release video i will be able to get the word notification and benefit from it you can as well share the video with your loved ones so it means an advanced class bye for now